So here we've got an 8-port indoor gigabit PoE surge protector. Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today we're tackling a real world challenge from one of our clients, a large logistic distribution yard that relies on 24-7 outdoor surveillance. So they had cameras installed at critical points, including entrances, loading dock, and perimeter fences, but they kept running into issues. Camera failure due to harsh weather, long cable runs, and electrical surges. So the question is, how do you build a rugged and reliable security system that won't go down when it matters most? So stick around, because we're going to break it down step by step. So here's the deal. Traditional outdoor camera setups often fail in extreme environments, especially in places with power surges or frequent lightning, long cable distances, or intense weather like rain, snow, or heat. So our client's camera were going offline at a critical times, and in a place like a logistic yard, it's not just inconvenient, it's a security risk. So to build something truly industrial grade, we started with the network core. So let's start here with the industrial PoE switch. Now, this is not your typical commercial grade PoE switch. An industrial PoE switch is built to operate in extreme temperatures, handle high EMI electromagnetic interference, and mount securely on a DIN reel. And why is it ideal for this case? It delivers both power and data to your PoE cameras through Ethernet cables and is hosted in a metal enclosure. Now, this makes it more durable in demanding environments. It also offers better surge protection. And to power this switch, we're not just using any adapter, we're using industrial graded D-Rail power supplies, not one, but two for power redundancy. Because if one power supply fails, the other takes over, and keeping your switch and cameras online. Now, these power supplies are also designed for industrial use. They can handle voltage spikes, temperature fluctuations, and more. And the benefits include increased reliability, no downtime due to power failure, and long lifespan. So, so far so good, We've got reliable power and a solid network switch. And now let's talk about the cameras. For outdoor use, you must choose weatherproof outdoor rated bullet cameras like this one here. And you should look for IP66 or 67 rating for water and dust resistant. Also wide temperature tolerance, sturdy housing to withstand wind, rain or sun exposure. So now we've got a clean setup. We have our industrial PoE switch here sending both power and data through Ethernet cable to our weatherproof bullet camera. And it's looking solid. But one question is, is this really enough? So here's the thing. Even with all this rugged gears, we're still vulnerable, especially to power surges. So now let's talk about something called surge protectors. Now what are these? Surge protectors are devices that absorb or redirect sudden voltage spikes caused by lightning or electrical faults before they can fry your expensive gears, especially in outdoor environments with long cable runs, because surge can enter your network, destroy your PoE switch, or even your cameras. So now let's walk through how to protect our security system by using Surge Protector. So here we've got an 8-port indoor gigabit PoE Surge Protector. It is designed to safeguard your Ethernet devices from lightning strikes, power surges, and electrical spikes, and is ideal for home networks, small offices, and security system. With a compact metal design, it fits neatly into your setup while keeping your your network devices safe. So now let's install it at the control room. So first I'll take a screw and mount it on our demonstration board. And let's use one more. 
to hold it. All right, so now it's on our board. And then I'm going to take another Ethernet cable to connect our PoE switch to the surge protector. So let's take it from our PoE switch to the output port of our surge protector. Then I'm going to take out the Ethernet cable connected to the bullet camera and connect it to our surge protector's input port. Now, this is a critical detail. The input port isn't for data input. It is for absorbing surges from coming from the outside. But protection at one end is not enough because searches can also travel the other way around. So maybe back from the camera and toward your switch. So that's why we need to install another outdoor search protector near the camera. Now this is ideal for outdoor cameras, access point and other networking equipment. It keeps your system running safely even during storms and power fluctuation. And it is built with stainless steel housing offer rugged durability and reliable protection for long-term use all we need to do is connect the ethernet cable to our camera so first i'm going to mount a din reel because this is din reel mounted poe search protector so again let's take here i'm going to use two screws and mount a din reel on the board then we can mount our outdoor PUE search protector put it through the din reel and stable it now you can see it is grounded already this is the input port let's take out the neck and the gland and we're going to unplug the cable to the camera and plug it into the input port. Just like this. Then this is the output port. I'm going to use another short patch cord connect the output port to our bullet camera. Now I'm taking this cap out for quick installation, but make sure you put it through the neck and the gland for weatherproof. Now you can see our bullet camera, the indicator light is on, it is getting both power and data from our industrial graded PUE switch. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video. So now our setup is completed. Remember, always ground your search protectors properly because grounding is essential for them to work. Also, make sure to install your protector as close as possible to your devices for maximum effectiveness. And do you know the best part of this setup? These search protectors are PoE compatible, so they let both power and data through while protecting both. Now, if you want to take your setup to the next level, especially if you're dealing with really long distances or high interference areas, you can consider upgrading to fiber optic cables. So the advantages of fiber, including in mill to electrical searches, fiber is made out of glass. No copper means no path for electricity. It also supports long cable runs up to kilometers without signal loss and offer better bandwidth and data integrity. But the downside is, it requires a complete infrastructure overhaul. You need to add fiber media converters, SFP modules, fiber patch panels, and etc. But for large scale or lightning prone environments, fiber is a worthy investment.
So let's do a final recap. We started with a failing camera system, but by upgrading to an industrial-grade PUE switch with redundant power supply, also industrial-graded. The data sent from the network video recorder to the switch and to our first PUE indoor search protector and linked to the outdoor PUE search protector and to our weatherproof camera. Now, we've built a rugged, reliable, and 24-7 surveillance system ready for the toughest environments. Now, thank you very much for joining us. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your questions or setup challenge in the comment section below. And I'll see you in our next one.